Yes, hello? A female voice greets you through the static. It sounds like she's a million miles away from here. Hello, this is the police calling. I have some questions for you about your last days at work. Sylvie, I believe we've met before. This is me, the detective from Whirling and Rags. Oh boy. <laughs> I hope we haven't met. Oh, right. What can I do for you? She recognizes your voice almost immediately. You quit your job at the Whirling. Why? Was it you who called the police? No, not me. But why didn't you call? Didn't a corpse behind your workplace bother you? Do you know who made that call? What? Of course it bothered me. But I thought the union already knew about the corpse. What does this union have to do with anything? I meant us. You should have called the police. No one calls the police. The union would get angry. Oh, what do you mean by that? You know, what the union says goes. People listen to them and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. Wait, Kim. Is she speaking truth? The union is the law around here? I am the authority around here. Looks like there's a limit to my authority, then. Tell me why exactly did you let a corpse hang in your own backyard for a week instead of calling us? I see. Maybe there's something else you can tell me about. <laughs> I am the authority <laughs> around here. Okay. Ooh, she I'll obviously just... doesn't want to challenge your authority. You feel much better now. Tell me why exactly you let a corpse hang in the backyard for a week instead of calling us. I... I didn't want to get in trouble with the others. Push her further. Show her the error of her ways. Yo. Authority. That's... Yo. <laughs> <laughs> that was take control. Let me get this straight. You ignored the law to save your own skin? What others? Her voice breaks. A little late for tears, isn't it? Should have used them to summon the police earlier. It's okay. Things happen. Not really your fault. You can almost hear the girl getting smaller on the other end of the line until she almost drowns in static. Do you know who made the call? Okay. Next no. question. I honestly don't know. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just might take a while. Okay, next question. Okay. She's calmer now, probably because the focus has shifted elsewhere. You quit your job at the Whirling. Why? You mean, why did I leave the bar? Honestly, I'm not really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. She tenses up on the other side. Why not? Wait, why aren't you comfortable discussing it with me? All right, I don't want to push you on this, but... Oh, wait, no, did you leave because of guard? All right, I won't push you on this. Are you ever coming back to work? What? No, why would you even think that? <laughs> he told me he asked you out. Are you saying it didn't happen? Sylvie, don't be afraid of that pig. You have to stand up for yourself. So you agree that quitting your job just because someone asked you out is an overreaction? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> Bring Gar into this. It's none of your business. I already said I don't want to talk about this. You're messing everything up again. You quit your job at the Whirling. Why? You mean why did I leave the bar? Why not? I, uh, let's just say I left because I needed to get away from someone. Get away from, from whom? You know whom. All right, I guess I won't push you on this. Are you ever coming back to work? What? No, why would you even think that? Oh, more lines. Sylvie, don't be afraid of that pig. You have to stand. No, 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 these are, these are the ones we saw. Before. Oh, yeah, that's what you... Okay. Please, don't bring Gar 
into this if I already said I don't want to talk to Hold on a second. Why, did I leave the bar? Why not? Oh, I'm trying to break Wait, her. Don't bring Find her. a path. I said I don't want to talk about you mean why did I leave the bar? Why not? What? No, why would you even think that? Please, don't bring I already said okay. I don't want to talk about this. You're messing everything up again. Okay. Well. Uh, hold on a second. Did we get another option? No, not me. No. It was someone else. We'll f okay. Okay. All right. I do hope so. Please don't call me again. Bye. She's ready to hang up. Forty-two percent empathy. Three. Why does she seem angry with you? Bye, Felicia. One, Gart asked her out. Minus one, you made her cry earlier. Minus one, you said you're the authority. <laughs> it tells you why. It tells you why. So, if you don't want to suffer at the end, your decisions, of course, matter on the way yep, through it. The whole way. Buffet, though? I'm hungry. Yeah? Yeah. Even though we're going to have a fucking hard time getting through this and might even fucking die? <laughs> Buffet, though. <laughs> Content! <gasps> no. Oh my god. She doesn't have a problem with you. It must be someone else she's angry about. Oink, Some oink. Other guy. Like God. Eat up, piggies. And I don't mean these cops. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, it's definitely some other guy. A guy like Gart. Sure, I'm okay, but I'm a guy. Are you sure it isn't about me? You know women and their constant problems. Yak, yak, nag, nag. How's one supposed to get the love <laughs> going like that? Uh, empathy, that was kind of messed up. Step in. Your lieutenant love, matchmaker extraordinaire. Help the poor girl out, lest she turns into a spinster. Oh my god, not a spinster. Yeah, she's a woman. Probably just playing hardball with the goods. Women are just transactional. Yeah, how how awful would that sound? How terrible would that sound? I'm happy to help, but maybe I could do without all this internalized misogyny. Mm. <laughs> what misogyny? I'm just telling things the way they are. Says Can't empathy. Can't be honest in his own head anymore. You have to act, Lieutenant Love. You have to calm that hysteric down. Tell it you've got everything under control. Then go and have a little boy's talk with God himself. Perhaps show him the way. His own way. I think you can do that, Lieutenant Love. Hmm. Are you still there, kiddo? Listen, I've got everything under control. Daddy's gonna take you on his lap, little darling. How is this helping, Empathy? <laughs> How is Please, no! Ah! Don't want to say any of those things. Refuse the love quest. Although it's wonderful. Oh, they tell you it's wonderful. <gasps> Absolute... Okay. Okay, <laughs> now here's the question, right? We can fill our plate up as we go to the buffet, but that does not indicate the manner in which we are filling our plates. Are we elbowing others out of the way to get at the spare ribs, or are we waiting patiently in line? I, I do like spare ribs, though. Oh, my God. Reggie's <laughs> elbowing people out of the way to get at the spare ribs. One was dominated by the other party. Anything else, officer? Uh, it's on. <laughs> the love quest is on. Too late, everyone. It's on. <laughs> Take it to God now. Empathy knows. Empathy God. understands. I don't feel that great. It's too late, everyone. 
Mm. You don't feel good? No? No. You don't you're not enjoying the spare ribs? I'm sinking on the inside. The yeah. the bones are building up on your plate. You're not you're not licking your fingers? They're yesterday's ribs. <laughs> that they just reserved. Mm. She puts you on hold. The static crackling softly like a bonfire. After a while you hear an old man greet you from the radio. His ratty voice is oddly familiar. This is 41st, coming over. Jules Pidgeot. A scrawny old man sits in a dusty cubicle, smoking, with a large white rectangle sewn on his vest. In front of him is a box-shaped apparatus with an array of wires and antennas, the radio switchboard. The man uses relay code. You've got this. You're a cop. And cops know relay code. 10 4, station 41, I've got an urgent business, over. 10 4, message received, 10 5, relay message. What's your status? Over. Just reporting in, uh, over. 10 18, state your message, sir. I need to report my badge missing. I am in dire need of financial assistance. This might sound odd, but there's personal details I'd like to discuss. 10 10, this, this, uh, transmission completed, standing by, over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 10 4, I hear you. I don't have the authority to grant your request, but. Is it him? What does he want? Jean. Vic, Vic Mark. Vic Mar. He says he needs money. Don't give that asshole anything. He's just gonna drink Shit. it all. Shit! Alright, uh, that's a negative on the additional funds, uh, sir. Over. Damn. Uh, is it paramount to the investigation that you grant me some more money? Please, I'm begging you, Air. I don't have an, even a place to sleep tonight. Okay, okay, I held you. No funds. I'll just go to the pawn shop and sell that old lady's pin again. That's how we do. Ugh. It is what it is. <sighs> okay. Well, um, mm, 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 let's try it. He says it's important to the case. <laughs> he isn't getting a red cent. You can tell him that. Request denied, sir. Over. He says he's in trouble, doesn't have a place to sleep. Uh, Vigmar said... Uh... <laughs> well, I guess he'd better crack the case I before don't sundown then. be here anymore. Please, come and get me. Um, he said, it's okay. You can do it, sir. <laughs> what is he saying? Did you want anything else, sir? Many of your colleagues are also here. <laughs> hey, good guy, Jules. He's trying to keep you from further embarrassing yourself in front of your colleagues. Please, I don't want to be here. I have to. No, I'm all, I'm all right. I'm all right. I had other things. He, he terminated the connection. <laughs> I guess he was in a hurry. <laughs> The radio operator is no longer speaking to the microphone and is addressing someone in the background. I guess he wants in a hurry. <laughs> Please! I'm scared! I can't... Fuck! I can't breathe! Help me! Help me, please! The radio falls silent oh my and God. lifeless. The communications officer has disconnected the call. What was that? It's okay, detective. Ooh. Gently grabbing your shoulder. What, you've never seen a man have like a panic attack before? We call it subterfuge in the force. Ever heard of it? I don't want to talk about it. We should get on with our tasks. Work always helps me center myself. Now, anything else you need from my vehicle or? This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Alice, please connect me to the 41st again. No, we're not talking to Jules anymore. We can drop the accent. Okay. <laughs> Her voices fade out into the familiar radio static. <laughs> Gottlieb, what do you want? You hear a man clearing his throat briskly, and an answer. He's carelessly chewing on a piece of hard candy. Just a routine checkup. I was told to call Lazarus. People are worried about me. I'm in a bad way, Doc. A real bad way. Oh. 
It's you. You know who I am? I think I've had a heart attack. I've lost my memory, all of it. Isn't there anything you can do for me? Yes, there's no end to the misfortunes fate has seen fit to rain upon me. Sure, sure, but can you tell me about myself? As in, who I am? Who? Please you tell me who you lost your I am. A while back. Now let's get on with it. I've got more important things to do. And you survived it. Congratulations. Yes. Are you mobile? Even better. Anything else? I wouldn't worry about that. Officers your age <laughs> have currently trouble all the time. Also, death is a natural part of life. Jesus. With all the damage you've been dealing yourself with drugs and alcohol, I'm not surprised. You're not surprised? Okay. Anything else? What else? I'm not a brain doctor. Look on the bright side. You've got a whole new life now. Use it wisely. Then perish, says the physician. <laughs> it's hard to say if he doesn't believe you or doesn't care. Isn't there anything you can do for me? What? You want me to do blood work for you again? Tell you just how bad things really are across the board? You want another rundown of everything collapsing inside your body? Yes, I want the truth. No, that doesn't sound like something I can handle right now. I see your point. Might as well go back to work. You want the real, honest-to-God truth? Stop drinking, eat magnesium and vitamin D. Our station is not our retirement home. We don't have the funds to deal with rock stars past their prime. And no, I don't want to hear a political commentary on the topic. In fact, I got verbatim. <laughs> Some idiot has glued his eyelids shut with cyanoacrylate. It looks like Mectorsum. It's not fucking cryoactylate. It's super glue, dog. <laughs> cyanoacrylate is super glue. I guess that's it for now. Okay, the phone clicks. Suddenly, you hear the already familiar voice. Anything else I can help you with, officer? Alice, I'm done for now. Yeah, I'm done. Over and out. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers, a radio on a hook, a pull-out toolbox. Yeah, let's leave. All right, we got a point for that fucking abortion of a conversation. So that's nice. Oh, you can level up? We can level up. What are you going to level up? Shivers is as our as our our power there. So you see how much each thing comes into play based on the conversations, right? Yeah. Like you see where things have worked and you see where things have failed. Um we're taking some damage in our in our fucking. Uh, uh, we're taking some serious psych da psyche damage. Like we're our volition is fucking blowing <laughs> its wad here because we keep trying to do stupid shit to entertain somebody, and as a result, we get up depressed, and then we're gonna fucking lose our minds over it. <laughs> so it's getting pretty bad. It's getting pretty bad in the volition department. Um. But uh, I'm I'm inclined to up our suggestion. Rhetoric has come up a couple of times. Mm -hmm. I feel like rhetoric is good for like parsing people's um, manner of speaking. But I do like the suggestion as well. So I'm leading mm -hmm. towards one of these two. Did these things come up more often because we're rhetoric, powerful if you in will. it, or is it that we just fulfilled the? The criteria to get the extra information, like we saw with rhetoric, we saw we saw we know we would see inland it, empire. You see it according to its frequency, but when we fail, we fail. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So I'm leaning towards one of those. So I don't know how you feel. Uh, you mentioned the rhetoric suggestion, charm, charisma, or art of persuasion. That one. Yep. Yeah. Conversation. Yes, I want people to, you know, okay. not give us too much stress when we want to find out information about them. 
And by information, you mean how much money they got in their pockets. Well, you know, gotta live. Total six. Oh, that's interesting. You can WASD this. If you wish. Well, that's good. Huh. Oh, there's a circle here. Another one. Quiz from the lorry. Half hazardly litter the surroundings. Close for the winter. Please use main entrance. Okay. Uh, so we've got Love Cop on the table. Or, or was it uh, Dr. Dr. Love? Officer Love? I forget. Or uh, Lieutenant Love or Lieutenant something? Lieutenant Love. Okay, no, I guess it didn't. it's not actually a thing there, though. Uh, it might be in the objectives. Talk to Guard Lieutenant Love. There you go. Yeah. Something's going on here. They said it's good. Hey, guard. Oh, hello, lady. Got any more money since, uh... I mean... Can I help you? He arches an eyebrow. About that money I owe? I've seen something here at the Rurling Guards. A thing I need to talk about. So I talked to Sylvie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> But he should be. Lay it on him. Oh boy. Turns out she's the whore who likes to ride the cock carousel. I'm sorry, could you try that again? Could could you As the music cuts out, can we get a reread on that one? I'm sorry, let, let me do that again. Turns out she's a whore who likes to ride the cock carousel. <laughs> but I don't want to lay it on him. Don't I have anything else? Like a back button, for example? <sighs> yeah, we're, we're protecting your psyche, right? Protecting your psyche. <laughs> Some content is not worth it. <laughs> of course you do. This was your plan all along. This is how you fix it for them. Oh! Answering the woman question. Oh! oh! You can't say no! There's no escape! Gotta do what you gotta do. No! You actually <laughs> don't! You really... Funny thing about that, Reggie! Interesting you say that! Because it turns out... 10 out of 10 doctors... Have concluded that no! You actually don't! Have to do what you well, have to do. Gotta pay 7 of these doctors... To change the stats! Wonderful. Sell that pin... It is. And then we'll talk. It's wonderful. What? What does that mean? Cock carousel. <laughs> she rides the cock carousel until she's too old to ride it. Then she settles down with a provider. Wow. <laughs> No time for lectures. The point is, you're losing at her nasty mind game. Sylvie's a total psycho. Just drill the inside of your mouth with your tongue. Just drill Just the drill. inside of your mouth huh? with your tongue. Mm hmm. Yeah, this feels right. It feels <laughs> wise. Good setup. Now speak the real shit. Okay. Oh my. The game is setting us up. Okay. Yo. Just be straight with the dude. When when empathy fails, when you <laughs> fail empathy, you're fucking crazy. Yep. You're 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 lost. You you're like you have become a problem. This is what people that fail empathy 
like this is what it looks like this is what it is you cannot you cannot there is no connection you are unable to put yourself over there no time for lectures uh, okay god does it mean you talk to her what else did she say he wants to know more what else do you need that was roughly it you don't want to know yeah she said that she likes the cock carousel very much so fun depict a carousel of cocks going merrily around Welcome to the fair, Wooly. Let's be real. We're, the game won't let us choose anything but three. Yep. He looks at you, spinning your arms. <laughs> arms? Leans on the corner and sighs. Wow. His head drops between the shoulders, heavy and defeated. Getting his forearms and shoulders into it. Yo, that gesture involved back muscles. It wasn't just fingers and wrists. He was getting the full back into it. <laughs> The blood is flowing, slowly less hangover as time goes by. The smile getting back on his face. <laughs> That's the expression. The, bird, you know, the great skewer. I found it on the ground with a broken wing. On the morning she left. Just humming to the fucking music to yourself. <laughs> do, 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 do. I should have done uh... it. it was her way of telling me to piss off. I should stuff it up my ass. He stops and stares at the counter. Or you broke the bird. It can also be that. I think Sylvie even. Yes, the bird is connected to this. It's a symbol of hope and she broke it. Or, you know, maybe I broke it? Yeah, man, signals, mixed signals. This is classic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got me. They got me. <laughs> I thought he was gonna care. I thought he was like reaching him on a human level there. Never mind. Just, the, you know, they had us in the first half, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh my god. Broken bird, feathers, nod knowingly. This is all part of the mind fuck on the, the car carousel. Uh, mm -hmm. Pick your poison. Cock carousel. I think I understand now. That's what they ride until like 39. Oh my god, you actually convince him. <sighs> they ride the cock carousel until the clock runs out. Here, have the rest. He corks the bottle and hands it to you. You actually convince him. And you get some booze out of it. That's a, a win. Experience gained! <laughs> yeah! Level up! Now, let me have a drink and think about this shit for a moment on my own. Stares into the blood of red liquid. Blood red Isn't liquid that, in the cup. Isn't that beautiful? Another situation fixed by Dr. Love. Mm hmm. Not strange at all. You familiar with cow and chicken? Yes. Remember what happens at the end of every episode? And... <sighs> oh my god. That was a ride. Woo. They literally said you don't get to back down, bro. They said, too bad, everybody. It's on. That's how you're It's on. Is. It's on. It doesn't Inside, go off. You see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone. A this is precinct 57. Just a second. <laughs> Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. Yes. Hello? Hey, Sylvie. It's the police again. Oh, great. What else do you need, detective? You quit your job at the Whirling, why? You mean, why did I leave the bar? Why not? Oh, you don't actually get an, any new lines there. Okay, mm. alright. Maybe, I don't know. 
Okay. I just know I have to take... You hear the call. Anything else I can help you with, officer? Just a moment, officer. 10-4. Come in, officer. Over. This might sound a bit odd, but there's some personal details I'd like to discuss. I need to report my badge missing. Can't do that with Kim around, can we? 10-4. Your badge should have most of your personal details. Cool. Yeah, bad. I don't have it. Oh, my badge. No. Of course, my badge. I can look at my badge that I have. But you said. N never mind. Ten nine over. Ten four message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to ten twenty two the captain. Over. Any other good news? He's saying he lost his badge. You what? He lost his badge? Who lost his badge? Dick fucking Mullen. Who did you <laughs> It's Officer Dick Mullen from the best seller, Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. He says, fighting off laughter. Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Defend yourself immediately. Yeah, you. fuck these guys. Authority. Come on, operator. Tell them to stop. This is serious. Ha ha. Officer lost his badge. Ha ha. Like I'm the first cop to ever misplace his badge. Can't we just move on? I, I want to get it reported and be done with it. He says this has probably happened to other policemen before him and laughs uh, sarcastically. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Is he fucking kidding? The whole station's gonna be dicked for this. Fucking kidding? God damn it! Satellite officer Vikmar is wondering if you might be joking and adds that this tarnishes the reputation of the entire station. <laughs> <laughs> Mullen dicked us! Come on, operator. Uh. Yeah, which one are you gonna take? He's asking you to stop. Says this is serious. Of course it's serious. He lost his fucking badge. Satellite officer Vikmar conquers. Losing your badge is serious. Over. Can we just move on? Come on. Sensor, I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Fuck me! Mac, come here! You've got to hear this! Dick Mullen lost his badge! What's going on? Super cop here lost his badge. And hey, that's the asshole that fucking super glued himself. <laughs> Fuck you, Mac. He lost his what now? His badge. With his eyes he still lost shut. His goddamn fucking badge. Didn't you glue your eyes shut earlier and now you're making fun of me? Right? <laughs> <laughs> the man is laughing too hard to form coherent sentences. The only words he can make out are lost and badge. He asks you to please stop saying he lost his badge. Why? Did he find it? <laughs> the room at the other end of the line erupts in volcanic laughter. Volcanic. <laughs> Sergeant Thorson was wondering if you found your badge yet. Over. <laughs> um, you don't have a comeback. Sorry. Re it's hard to think like this. Ooh, don't test reactions because you ain't got none. Yo. Well, the jerk store called. <laughs> Two frame. <laughs> uh, uh. Mm. Are you gonna hold that? Looks like he's still looking for it. Oh my god, double burn. <laughs> oh my god, we're getting ripped apart, dude. Two frame, and it was Fei Long. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> what? Ten nine, come again. I didn't get that. Over. The animated conversation in the back is making it difficult for him to hear you. New heights even for Captain Sober. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him if he's lost his gun too. Sergeant Orson wants to know if you lost your gun too. Oh no. Over. Oh no. Check your pockets. Check your. Oh God! Oh, no. It's not here. <laughs> oh, no. oh fuck! Half light. Oh, Half light. No. Half light, please. Oh. Oh God. 
I don't have my gun! No. It's gone. It's not fucking on you. 10-9, come in, officer. You get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Over. Red check, it cannot be retried. My gun is right here. This is my rifle, this is my gun, this is for fighting, this is for fun. Lying? Over the phone? It's easy. Just say it like it's the truth. And then it becomes it. No, of course I didn't lose my gun. He says he didn't. Thank God for that. That would have been a nightmare. I don't even want to imagine the poor prick who has to relay that kind of news to the captain. Losing his badge is bad enough. Tell him to find it and fast. We can't have some gangbanger running around with it. Is that code speak? We were glad to hear you not lost your gun, officer. You need further assistance. Over. <laughs> ten ten. Over and out. Roger that. Ten ten. Over and out. Yo, Kim. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Hmm. Not good. Not good. God. That's some. There's some damage on the table there. <laughs> uh. All right. So we got these tools: the pry bar, the chain cutters, the flashlight, the flashlight, the flashlight, <laughs> and the alcohol. Commodore Red. Um. I actually thought there would be a, a come back and talk to Sylvie and do the whole quest thing, mm. but it seems there's not. So, hey, friend. I am a gander and a hunter and a gatherer. Feel like a traveler. The man mutters to himself, extending the beats as he goes. Tommy Lahame. <laughs> a simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. Keep listening. I am the law. What's going on here? Never mind. From another planet. Hey there. What's going on here? It's the jam, my man. He motions toward the sprawl of lorries with a sweeping gesture. It's a traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight, no explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, an all-around clusterfuck. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long-haul limbo for days upon days upon days. He glances south. Upon days. Limbo, huh? So that's where I am. So how long have you been here? Cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's official. He too agrees. This is the antechamber of the afterlife. Feels like forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes of mazout. Spelt with a Y. Mazout is an antiquated term for oh, British spelling, yeah. oils. This man has a barely suppressed performative streak. Or he just likes unusual words. I can just Ooh, smell the Europe. Mm-hmm emanating from every corner of yeah. this, this experience. I dig your style, man. Extravagantly phrased, but I can roll with it. I don't quite understand what you just said. Could you say it again? Only a little less plotting. Yeah, imagine. It's been a whole week already. He snickers. So tell me, what do you need? Care to spare some change for a working stiff? Tell me more about this strike. Know anything about the dead man, the one hanging behind the hostel there? What are you hauling anyway? I'm good for now. Good talk. Oh, high-grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. Relax. He's merely joking. You're under arrest! <laughs> Wicked. I've always wanted a friend in the underworld. Okay, what are you actually hauling? Ha, <laughs> no. I'm joking, my man. Found runs a nice, clean business. This haul of cargo is mostly sporting goods. You know, tracksuits and that kind of thing. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh. They usually get shipped to Grad in the Occident. Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. Mm, so nothing illegal then? Yeah, that's your tracking machine behind you? 
Could I get one of those foam tracksuits you're hauling? Right, I had another question. Ooh, can we uh, get some bribe going? We're pals and all, but I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. The bosses won't be happy. So nothing illegal, huh? Oh, these are the same lines, right? Yes. This rockin' beauty. Sure is. Like a rash you can't get rid of. A motor lorry, also called a camion, on Caillou and neighboring islands. This one looks roughed up enough to be some sort of found rust bucket. Maybe the A6. You think that's what it's like to have just an encyclopedia in your head? Like, just going off every time a little factoid happens? Mm, I mean, I, I actually sometimes it sounds like that in my head. But it's cool if you have that plus social skills, then you can just have a nice yeah. common co conversation with anybody. Mm, yep. See? Trivia's good. I don't know shit about this truck, but now I'm like, hey, that's a Fonz A6 you got there. Good eye, my man. Yup, she's an old one, but reliable. Me and her spent a long time together. So nothing illegal then? Not unless they've illegalized sports equipment while I was on the road. Right, right. I had another question. The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. Tell me more about the strike. It's like, whatever's going on over at the docks. Workers got a blockade set up, making demands. No way in or out. What's the union demanding? That they no longer have to piss in bottles? Some pretty wild stuff, I hear. Like a giant new power crane in half the company? I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. I've heard talk there's a company rep in town, too. Like, a strike negotiator type. They know what's up. Precise demands and so on. Ah, yes. From the Wild Pines. We'll meet her soon enough, I'm sure. Mm. They want to keep that money flowing in, my man. ka -ching. He doesn't blame them, but he's not on their side. That's for sure. Anything else Anything I should else? Have? Yeah, this ain't really my area of expertise. I just do my job and get paid. I have things to do and places to be. All of us do. Us lorry drivers. Cam, your nurse. You still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. Most have scurried off somewhere to get drunk or high. Or laid. Not that I blame them, really. Camionneur feels like the French version of Teamster. Oh, yeah. Not my thing. Chasing transient pleasures is a drag these days. I prefer the examined life now. Thinking, reflecting, observing. Hippy glances, fucking uh, dippy. Glances down the road towards the horizon. A glint of something in his eye. Mm -hmm. I think we were, I think we got him worked up. Care to spare some change for a working stiff? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> No, I ain't got any money. They don't want to pay for unfinished work. Damn. They who? The bosses, man. Makes sense. First work, then pay. I don't know who these bosses think they are, but that sounds like a good arrangement for them. So you're broke. Got it. But what else do I have to ask here? Yeah, it sure ain't good for me. Or you. I'd spare a coin or two for a city cop down in his luck. If I had saved four myself. Mm. Body. He ain't one of us drivers. I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Keep him busy. It's easy to see he's telling the truth. He's kept his nose out of the dark stuff. Busy with what? Analyzing the fundamental structural and psychological conditions of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries and their sad, despondent chauffeurs. That's the ask for his conclusion. Wait, what? And your conclusion? A sense of surprise there ain't more bodies hanging from more trees. <laughs> I'm good for now. Good talk. Don't be a stranger. He gives a salute with two fingers. Later, Tommy Le Homme. Alright, Falm. Oh, what's that? A good place to save, actually. Okay. Ooh. 
Are you gonna <sighs> sink it? Yeah. So that was a solid three hours forty-five minutes. It was. It passed by really quickly. It's a good ass game, and I know that what comes next, at the very least, is going to be a whole lot of time. There's a whole last segment for us walking up a little bit okay. that needs time. That's cool. So as much as everyone would love to see that, let's we're gonna need we're gonna need to take our time. So Alright. 